3 Steps to Attract Money into Your Life In this article, I'll share some strategies to learn how to canalize money straight into your life. If seeing the title of this article you decided to open it and read it obviously it's because you dream of having more money, maybe you're not exactly happy with your financial situation. Perhaps you are always floundering anxious to make it to the end of the month, perhaps your business doesn't perform as you would like, or maybe you're not doing so bad but still feel like you cannot afford the lifestyle that you want. Whichever of these reflect your case, surely when you think about money, you start from one basic premise, which is the idea that it comes from above, that you have no power over this aspect of your life, and that having more money is a matter of chance and luck. Well, if that's what you think I'll tell you right now that you're so wrong, and today I'll explain to you why. First of all it is important to understand that money is not a static object but a moving system governed by the same laws that govern the entire universe. It is nothing transcendental. It's simply important to remember that money is part of our world as we are part of it and, just like us, it's composed of atoms and the same energy that moves everything in existence, since in nature every reaction corresponds to an action, and since every single atom of the universe is connected to the others by an invisible network, keep in mind that money also moves within this network. The logical reasoning that follows this fundamental assumption is that, if you act on this network, you can also act on money, this means that your attitude towards them can be decisive. I'm not going to lie to you, to improve your relationship with money there are many steps to follow and the difficulty stays in the way you end up discovering that in reality, your money problems have absolutely nothing to do with money, that what really determines your relationship with money is the awareness of your personal worth. In fact, in our society, money is the measure of the value of something, in this case of an object or a service, and for this reason, we unconsciously also attribute to them the measure of our intrinsic value. If as a job you want to start selling your handmade creations or your services and you struggle to give them a price, it is always and in any case because you feel that your work is not worth enough. If you are always willing to offer dinner to everyone and you never accept that they even offer you a coffee, it is because deep down you feel that you are worth less than the others. If you lend money to anyone who is in difficulty and you are ashamed to ask for it back at some point, it is always because deep down you feel you don't deserve it, and that also applies if every time you have two extra coins you squander them immediately without even realizing it. If you want to have more money in your life then the first step, the essential one, is to understand that your trust and your self-love go hand in hand with the cash value you unconsciously give to yourself. The more you feel you are worth as a person and the easier it will become to get rich, this is a principle that is always valid, believe me. The second step is to acknowledge your responsibility for the amount of money that enters and stays in your life. In fact, Having more money is never an accident or luck related because it means not only letting more money enter your life but also being able to keep it. How many cases are of people that have won the lottery and squandered it all in a very short time, finding themselves poorer than before? No more excuses and victimization then. If you want to have more money accept that it is something absolutely in your power and find a way to get it. This can mean cutting expenses, doing an extra job, investing a certain amount of money, or many other things, such also practicing the law of attraction. It always implies starting to have an active and not passive relationship with money and working constantly to manage it well and give yourself economic objectives. The third secret to having more money has everything to do with your attitude towards them. As long as money is only a source of anxiety for you and as long as you perceive it only as it comes out of your wallet it will be very difficult to have more. On the opposite, developing a sense of confidence that the universe will always give you enough of what you need and an awareness of the abundance you already have in your life always brings more money. In conclusion, we have three helpful things to do now that will lead you to get more money. Gather your thoughts about your expenses from the beginning of the year to today. What are the things you spend the most on? Find an effective way to save on expensive items that aren't really necessary for your well-being or don't really enjoy spending money on. Maybe you can find a cheaper gas company, or you can order sushi a little less often and save that money for your dream trip for example. Set an economic goal to be achieved within a specific time frame. It could be set aside $200 buy that bag you want so much or book a ticket to London. The important thing is that it is something you really want. It doesn't matter how broke you are now, only the goal counts. If you keep thinking that you can't afford a thing anyway and you never even find out about how much it costs, it is certain that you will never be able to afford it. If, on the other hand, you begin to transform your desire into a concrete goal, it will be much easier for you to find the money necessary to achieve it. Start keeping an abundance journal. Every day, write down at least three things that you have in your life and that is a sign of abundance. Also and above all things that you normally take for granted such as a full fridge, the smartphone slash laptop from which you are reading this post or the pants you are wearing are valid points. I hope these methods can help you to uncover your money blocks and give you an effective solution to bring more abundance into your life. If you found this article interesting you can also check my piece about millionaires, successful people, and their habits.
I'm dropping you the link here below. 10 habits that millionaires have, and so should you. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more motivational and informative content, like this one.